اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان اللعین الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم و بہی نستعین و هو خیر ناصر المعین و صلی اللہ علی محمد و آل طیبین الطاہرین انشاءاللہ ان دس اور سیکنڈ اپیسوڈ آن دی حق we will discuss uh, some of the important points and these points are regarding uh, a question why some people do not follow the haq and what are the factors that can contribute uh, for a person to follow the haq or the truth so these points are based on many ahadith first of all uh, let's look at the first point here and this point uh, says that Whoever remembers the, the death would always follow the truth. So, tabi'iyat az haq means following the haq or abiding by the, the truth is based on the person's understanding of this life. A person who does not give importance to the life of next world or thinks that this life is the only thing would would do anything that he wants to do and he would not care about what is the truth and what is the falsehood what is right what's wrong and so on. so remembering the death can make a person follow the truth number two whoever now the reason why some people do not follow the haq is that they do not use their aql so Whoever follows the truth and whoever follows the bathing or the falsehood according to the riwayat, according to the ahadith that these people the difference between these people is that the people who follow the haq have used their aql and the people who have followed the falsehood have not really used their aql why because the person who is after his own benefits I mean, everybody wants success any, any, everybody works for somehow some kind of benefit so a person who is working for his uh, his benefits would always follow the truth because ac- actually the real benefit come comes from following the truth so this such a person does not know what's really good for him what is advantageous for him what's going to you know benefit him in the long run he is just chasing or following something which is uh, which is very temporary and it, uh, it it would be gone very soon very quickly before he even knows about it now and the third point obviously is that the person who follows the haq is a person who is a smart person and you can see in this category all the uh, prophets of Allah all the awliya friends of Allah it could be found that they lost probably sometimes everything uh, of this world's life but yet they kept on being on the path of truth so they were they, they, these were smart people I mean like Hazrat Ibrahim salam who is followed by almost all the divine religions Jews follow him Christians follow him Muslims follow him and he is respected by all the other people of the world and if you look at his life he risked his life on many occasions he was about to be killed by the kings and the people of that uh, of that time his time yet he followed the path of truth the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obviously that is the path so if such a person like Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam Hazrat Musa alayhi salam Hazrat Isa alayhi salam Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Imam Ali alayhi salam Imam Hussain alayhi salam they they risked everything you know from worldly perspective and this is what some people say uh, you know they they did not gain anything they lost their lives really Imam Ali salam for example he lost everything lost his life in the way of following the the haq establishing the truth Imam Hussain alayhi salam he was martyred together with his family Masilisi, on the plains of Karbala without any rahm from his enemies for what what was the reason why 
because he was on the path of truth and he was to, he wanted to establish the truth and the justice and haq in this world but the people were not ready yet they followed the haq it means all these smart people who are following the haq are telling us a very important uh, point that the real success is with the haq the real success the ultimate salvation is with the haq and staying away from the batil all the batil followers of the batil people of the batil people of the falsehood like fir'aun like haman like shaddad like every other people who are doing it now their names are not important what they are doing is very obvious the evil people of the world today they are not successful they would not be successful even though it may seem or look temporarily that they are but it does not matter really in the long run they are not even a blip in the history of the world and they would just like others be destroyed and would be remembered for their crimes and people would not praise them or love them even though they wanted so much they, that the people should love them and respect them and be afraid of them and fear them and so on and so forth but actually people are not yes temporarily for some time people are suffering but then they would see the consequences of their actions in this world as well as the next world because the haq cannot be concealed for a long time it has the you know it has the elements of revealing itself and when it, when it reveals itself it destroys the batil it just like the sun when it comes out that the darkness goes away automatically it has no place and it would not have any place in future so this was the fourth point the fifth point is the iman the core of iman the core of all our beliefs is uh, is putting the haq first and establishing the haq and destroying the batil and if a person thinks that he is a believer and still follows the falsehood and batil he is just deceiving himself he has no iman he has no faith he has no really belief nothing believing in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala believing in the day of judgment believing in the in the akhirah all these things entail that the person must follow the haq there is no place for falsehood here yes either he is deceived by the fallacies of the batil falsehood people of evil or he is deliberately doing it and in the second case when he is deliberately doing it deliberately following the batil he knows where he would end up at the end and now mu'mine kamil the perfect moment the person the moment who has reached uh, his uh, uh, apex of his, his iman such a such a moment always go after the haq not the batil even though he might have to fight against the enemy fight against the enemy and he cannot see the haq being destroyed as well so he would stand up and defend the haq as well and those people who deviate from the path of haq they are ultimately humiliated by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ultimately they are dealt with by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala naturally because a uh, haq of battle cannot sustain itself and cannot live for a long time and the last point is that if we are looking for the for the true uh, peace of mind and tranquility of heart you know that's that's ultimate you can say thing you know that's uh, that is that is something that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even, even praising that those with the iman when they would come on the day of judgment they would have this qalbun uh, salim and then itma'inan the tranquility the peace in their heart because this is so much important this is the highest kind of reward that a poor person can have peace of mind having sukoon having satisfaction and that comes with following the truth a person can sleep have and have a good night's sleep 
a thief, a person who follows the evil, he cannot sleep. He has to take those, you know, sometimes even drugs and medicines, unless he's, he's sick because of some other factors. But an ordinary healthy person, if he is not on the path of Haq, he would not have a good night's sleep. And that's what the Quran and the Riwayat are saying and telling us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Ya Qayyir Qalqillah